Welcome, welcome, welcome to Kickstarter Radio 102.4. I'm your host, Lipstick Paddy. And today we're looking at Wolfenstein, the board game. Ooh, it's finally out after a long delays. So let's jump to the intro to see what to expect on this video. Finally, it's come out. Now, I don't think this picture does the game any justice. This is a great thing. But early bird not available with the $1 play. <laughs> Excuse me, coronavirus. If you produce some noise, you're going to get a heck ton of minis around you. Is it coming with spruces? Because this is going to turn a lot of people off. Oh, look at this art it's like mansions of madness i don't think i've seen d12 in any of my games well, they're not secret are they if we see them <laughs> this is straight from the video game this equipment 62 different types of equipment that's probably more than the video game 51 different enemies and the fantastic bases oh Oh, look at this mini with dead soldiers underneath and he's got uh, someone's heart. This guy is a sycophant. Uber soldats. The Veltrumarine soldats. Yep, I had a lot of fun with this Kickstarter. I thought it was very fun and lots to learn about it. And I'm a mega fan of Wolfenstein big time. So let's check out the Kickstarter page right after this. The next social stretch goal on KISS 102.4 is the 250 subscriber. Subscribe today and unlock new music that will change the music in all the videos in the future. You could be part of the evolution. Alright, here we are. Wolfenstein the board game. Finally, it's come out. This thing was being shy trying to avoid the big ones but it's not shy anymore it's coming out on the same day as ank and oh yes man this kickstarter video is well worth a watch it is really cool i love it look at all these minis on the side here Ooh. <laughs> even the board art look at those tiles they look spectacular they really do Now look, a free bonus mini, Hans Grosser. Um, I love how they brought the image from the original um, Wolfenstein game, which of course I played. I love computer games and yeah, I was um, really the first FPS game that I played was Wolfenstein. And um, yeah, we can see it, the modern Go into the modern era of Wolfenstein, though, and um, the beautiful games that have came out in the last 10 years as it went into the uh, modern age, um, alternate history where Nazis t took over London here. Really, really cool. Join the resistance. Of course, Jeb uh, Balsevich, the main protagonist here on the front cover, he is an American that came over to help um, against the Nazis. Now, I don't think this picture does the game any justice because this um, model pack here, when we go down, you'll see how detailed it is and it does look fabulous. Although, for me, to replicate what the board art is doing will need a professional painter. Probably just say that right out of the bat. Um, now let's look at these pledges while we're up here. Um, also, they're not shipping to Germany or Austria. Um, that's in the FAQ. Let's have a quick look at this. It's legal advice received in relation to regulation of the toy market in both these countries. So they are just simply not enough. This is also important. They're using hips because the they're using a Chinese company that has been used by um, Tainted Grail and they have been criticized due to the production. 
and with the company now going over to hips this is a great thing because it means that it it's way better quality and um, it's something that you can be very assuredly great that the hips is great plastic it really is it's the toughest one out there so this is very good sign so what does the one dollar give you do go in the pledge manager excellent I love this because the next pledge down is a hundred and twenty ouch <laughs> However, early bird not available with the $1 pledge. Boo hoo. And no stretch goals either. So you have to come in. I don't know why this is here. It's August 2021 and a $1 is a backer of a backer. So I don't know why they've done this and I wish they do change this because it's egregious. Because come on, it's look at all the Kickstarters around. If people are backing Frosthaven, they're putting a bit of risk on Ankh. Why is it risk? Well, you'll know when we do the video on it. Um, that alone is pushing $200. This is going to push $300. So we are, you know, this is COVID-19 era. So why limit the $1 pledge? You know, it doesn't have to be $1 pledge. Make this $10. Make it $20 to come in and get the early bird and the stretch goals because you're committing here that I will pay for it later. So this hopefully will change. This is a niggly point that I just want to bring up. Now, the 230 pledge, this is the Plastic Terrain Edition. And when we go down, we'll discuss that. But really, it's cool. It is cool, but it costs a lot of money. And for the hundred dollars that you're paying for that expansion, you could easily pay for Frosthaven, for example. So <laughs> it's a kind of a lot, isn't it? When you could pay for something out there already on Kickstarter, and this hundred dollars is going on something cosmetic with the board game. Ooh. Well, obviously, for 189 backers. Currently, there's no problem there for these peeps. No problem at all. Now, once four players, I like the fact that it's solo. Very good. And 90 to 120 minutes, probably going to be 120 minutes, isn't it? <laughs> when you see that. Um, now, it is coming with the expansion and... Both of these pledges are throwing that expansion in, plus the All-Stars expansion. So why are they not just doing a pledge level for Wolf Signs board game without the expansions? It's kind of odd they're throwing it all in. <laughs> Excuse me, coronavirus! Yeah, we don't say bless you at the minute, we're saying coronavirus for fun. <laughs> we don't mean any insult to anyone who's had deaths in their families or anything like that. It's just to remember it's... COVID-19 and cover, your, cover yourself when you sneeze, etc. Blah, blah, blah. All right. So, yeah, no cheaper pledge with just Wolfenstein. You, they're throwing the expansions in and, oh, well, okay. You could have had a cheaper option then. It would have been nice, actually, to have Wolfenstein just a board game. Maybe it was coming in at $60 or $80. Um, would have been a better one if you want to come in for the stretch goals. And the early bird. So yes, so, all right, let's go to the board game in a nutshell. This is all explained in the video, but um, yes, beautiful side quests. Oh yes. You want to explore the whole dungeon. Of course you want to get extra supplies. Um, I do, of course the loot in the game is needed and um, these stars that you see on the map here these are so you can trigger off your special abilities of your characters um, good cooperative gameplay that does suggest there is some synergy between the characters and um, we've got here mecha hitler which is the end boss and he is a pain in the backside in the video game when you find this guy um, it doesn't look like the model that he has is Hitler Tash here, does it? I'd like to see an up-close 
to show you that it is Hitler. But that model looks great and it looks like it's a very big one. Um, a little bit of the art here, we'll see the ground as we go down. Here's the another size comparison. This is one of the mech dogs, mecha dogs, I think they're called. Um, now the, the devs here, they have done magnetic miniatures um, for terrain before, but they're not doing it here. It's just lock in place. Still no glue. It's not magnetic, unfortunately, but it's um, I guess it's something new that they're doing, which is lock in place. So um, it's it's quick. And um, the devs, let's just go up to the devs. Archon Studio, they are very, very good at doing terrain packs, by the way. They are, you know, they are probably one of the best on Kickstarter for doing terrain packs for their games. Um, so we've got a good, it's in good hands. Um, I like this All Stars one. Look at this. More heroes, villains, items. Events to both the core and the expansion. Oh, can't wait to see what that is! Um, the Old Blood faced the SS Paranormal Division secretly working in the castle in 1946. Yes. When, if you play the computer game, like, I love it so much. Um, I love going around stealthy, playing it on its most difficult setting, the Uber setting. You have to stealth around, it really makes the world hostile as heck. And in this game, they've done the same thing. You have to sneak around. If you produce some noise, you're going to get a heck ton of minis around you. And it's not going to be nice. In fact, um, in the video game, it was instant death if you sounded the alarm almost 100% of the time. You had to do the mission perfect by going around stealthy. Anyway, so that is some, a goal that you would be doing here. All models are made of hard plastic with exceptional quality and detail not normally used in board games. Now, is it coming with spruces? Because this is going to turn a lot of people off big time. Now, it is hips plastic, so it is kind of hard. And we saw... Um, what was the game? Oh my goodness. The, oh, there was a massive Kickstarter that used hips plastic and they had a um, an armory pack which let you change out the weapons of the heroes because hips plastic is so hard that you can switch characters up of them here. It doesn't look like you can do that here, but it would be nice if they did it. What's that game called? I'll put it up here. The editor will put a picture of what I mean. I can't believe I've forgotten. It was a massive Kickstarter last year that we, we backed. <laughs> you back so many games, you just can't remember the titles. It's like having loads of girlfriends and can't remember their names. <laughs> All right. Look at the size of these guns, though. Oh, man, look at this. That looks like a two-hander. But there's pure strength for these characters. They can one-hand these things. It is very good. They should be here, maybe talking about hips plastic here. I mean, it's we know what it is. Or do we? I know what it is. I'm just you. I'm just like you guys <laughs> and gals. Your character has a handful of actions, and as long as, you can do anything you want in any order. As long as you have the time so time is your currency and um, it's quite detailed on what you can do here um, as we'll see when we go to the rule book oh, look at this art it's like mansions of madness um, it's like they got the art artist for that and brought him over to this campaign it looks so good um, yeah, it's got line of sight mechanisms, and um, here's potentially going to throw a grenade. Um, but yeah, it is cool. You still get some minis. You get the doors that open the door. You can see the slot in the door here. It slots up. 
nice solution there and um, of course the noise every tile with two or more heroes is considered noisy and will attract guards some items and abilities can hide your intent though all right so a tile means these big things you get two heroes in that big tile that's that's when the noise comes from and uh, potentially there's some rooms that you might create noise as well if you do stuff maybe exploration is always going to be there um, it looked like on the video that the map was all laid out it, I don't know if it requests you to construct the whole map it would be better with no sign of you know you, did, you couldn't see what's ahead of you especially as you're either escaping or attacking someone um, yeah side mission here if you decide to help the prisoners if you decide so decisions to make little quests nice get your gun loaded you need special ammo to take to do these abilities though and you can loot enemies yes um, <laughs> you can take guns off enemies you can take their ammo yeah And there's dice rolling here, and it says they're using D12s, which is fairly nice. I don't think I've seen D12 in any of my games. Does that say something about my selection? <laughs> um, I do like it though. It does the custom dice look really nice? I like this um, coloration that they've done here. I really do dig it. It's certainly unique. Um, when you roll dice, the effects could be shots will tear through armor, bypass it altogether, miss or jam your weapon. Um, and you will have some abilities to negate that. It says you have abilities that allow you to play with Lady Luck. Um, so push your luck, don't push her too far. Every hero has secret talent. Secret talents, okay. Every character in Wolfstein has three unique skills that can be activated if your hero is brave enough to get the glory points. Each skill is a game changer, allowing you to perform near impossible feats. Well, they're not secret, are they, if we see them? <laughs> I am Death Incarnate. A hero using a shared life token to prevent BJ Blaskovich from bleeding out does not lose a token. Yeah, he's hard as nails, this guy. Terra Billy. Attack a ta target unit with two weapons simultaneously. Yes, um, it is a feature of the video game is to go dual weaponed with any weapon. Even two handers, you can dual wield them. That is a feature of the game. So we're getting a bit of the theme of the video game coming in here. One man army use any type of ammo for any weapon. Okay, so you can use pistol bullets for a rocket launcher. That sounds strange. <laughs> um, alarm, alarm, alarm. Definitely got the heat on him here. Every time you kill a Nazi, the tension hazard tracker increases. And if you reach the maximum value, the alarm goes off. Ouch. Um, some of the heroes and items can manipulate the hazard tracker, though. So, yeah, worth doing the side quests alone, probably, to get this down if you want an easier path through. This is straight from the video game, this art, it was great. You could pick your difficulty level, and I loved when you picked the easy one, it made you look like a baby. <laughs> and of course, I went straight for the hardest challenge, because that's where the game is really at its best. Um, so yeah, it'd be interesting to see how it plays with the uber level, where stealth is necessary and sounding the alarm is going to be crackers for you. It's going to be bad news, big time. 
click to get the game. Now, I guess this is going to the video game. Is it? It says it's going to, oh, let's have a look. No, it's just going to the pledge level. That's weird, is it? Why have you got that there? <laughs> That's odd. Rulebook preview. We'll have a look at that when we get to the bottom of the page. Here are the pledges. So you do get the doors, which is cool. You get the great tile art and you get 55 minis. Ooh. Map tiles. Um, I'm 100% saying they are dual sided. A bunch of cards. Yeah. Double sided with two different arts. If if a game ever comes with single sided map tiles, it's it's uh, a bad sign. Totally a bad sign. Does look it's very similar to Mansions of Manu's second edition, which is a fantastic thing. Nice hero cards here with slots at the bottom to put your armor and guns and stuff as you're obviously picking up different stuff. Looks nice. Um chest cards are they, they that the really cool stuff uh, event deck sounds nice equipment 62 different types of equipment that's probably more than the video game <laughs> very nice 51 different enemies so yeah again more than the video game Weapon cards, more weapons than the video game. You're getting a deeper experience here in the vi in the board game, which is very cool. Look at these minis, man. Oh, man. And the fantastic bases. Oh. All hips. Look at these dynamic, dynamic poses. They are so cool. This Klaus Krutz, he must have an ability to kick down doors. <laughs> Max House, he must, he's got like the um, baby letter cubes here. He must be a bit dim-witted. We don't know, just uh, looking at that. BJ Boltsovich here doesn't quite look like they've captured him here, but I guess it's hard to tell from here. And um, if you look here, his hair. Hmm. It'd be nice if these were on rotation, but otherwise they're they're very cool. And it'd be interesting if they come in this color also, which is also, I think it's really nice. Mega, Mecha Hitler, look at him. Gonna need a big tile to face this guy. And um, I wonder if he's in two phases like the video game. Is that a thing? I mean, when you knock down the Mecha Hitler, does that mean Adolf Hitler jumps out here? I think there is gonna be two phases. That is gonna be very cool. I mean, you kinda maybe see there's a Tash there, maybe? But it is very, very nice. And of course, painting these up in the Nazi outfits would be painter's dream, wouldn't it? Because it's so good alternate history here. Oh, look at this mini with dead soldiers underneath. And he's got uh, someone's heart. This guy is a sycophant. Oh, yes. Fantastic mini. Professor Salome Belvi, look at this crazy dude. Uh, models are coming in two different variants, which is nice to see. I think the Batman animated series did a stretch goal for this, so it's nice to see this coming out the bat, that they are different poses. We do have best in class though at the minute on Kickstarter with New Osaka. Um, they have got unique everything with the minis there's no minis the same in that game so um can they possibly stretch these so that they are unique might be difficult with the drones <laughs> but the the officers they could have different weapons maybe i don't know 
hard to change an officer, isn't it? You'd ha you, you could, the only thing you could possibly change is the weight, the height, the sex, and uh, the face. So, I don't know, female officers from the Nazis, they did have them yeah, in the game. Panzer haunts. Man, these are deadly things. Deadly. Um, these are almost like zombie soldiers, if I remember. Super soldats, mechs, they're going into like little mech suits, tough as nails. Uber soldats, Ooh. I think these like, they're like the runners, they're going to run at you. The Veltrumarine soldats. Look at this conjoined German here. <laughs> and some nice rocket troopers. Uh, rocket troopers? I can't remember them too much. Maybe flamethrower guy? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, that's going to be the fire trooper. <laughs> One hundred ninety tokens. That's going to be a punching session on its own. Um, great custom dice. You get the doors, barricades too. Mm -hmm. I wonder what this round tracker is. Have you got to do things in a certain amount of time? The expansions bringing you more tiles, more cards, and more minis. just looks so good man the only thing that I don't like about this Kickstarter at the minute is the pledge level that's it <laughs> each tile brings special rules Ooh. hang on six tile six corridors Yeah, so it's all good. I mean, it looks like they've done as much as they could to please fans of, of Warpenstein for sure, and to also show the dungeon mini kind, dungeon crawler fan that they can have an alternate version here. Nice theme that's completely unique. Um, you got a different version of BJ here. <laughs> that great model. And. Um, yeah, Ludwig of Kessa here hiding his gun. Yeah, it's good. I like. You can't really say too much about these minis other than the great hips plastic using the best material. The monstrosity. What is that? Have I? I don't know if I can. I can't remember facing that guy in the video game. Maybe I. Maybe I don't know. Let me know. <laughs> That's definitely zombies coming out. And, uh, nice, they've got some smaller dogs. And, uh, that's many here. Cool, cool, cool. Here's the epic terrain pack. Look at the art on that box. <laughs> it looks amazing. Now you see the detail in the boxes, um, in the boxes, in the walls here, all double sided, looks stunning. It, it's, it would be great if they showed you some of these that were painted, that would really sell it more if it showed that. Because if you're going to be paying the $100 for this, then you're going to be painting it wrong. Is that, is that, is that what you're going to be doing? Let me know if you're going for the big pledge, if you're going to paint this stuff. But, um, oh man, it looks so cool. Looks really cool. And look at the floors. Oh. I... Again, though, if you look at these stone floors, 
it looks like they're only going to be used for maybe corridors. That's what I'm thinking because some of the tiles had special abilities, right? And if you look at, just go up here, pardon me if we go back up. If you look here, it's like a courtyard. That is spectacular. I don't think the terrain tile is going to have something like that. Because it, it really needs to reflect all of the, the tiles, right? So, so I don't know if it's going to be mixed and matched. Mitch, mixed and matches. I think on the video it showed a full mini one. They weren't using them, but um, but yeah, that's certainly something that you need to ask about. Here are the all stars. Ooh, love this armor. They look very cool. And this gun's super chunky. Look at that. Set up your dream team. So this is just getting extra characters. And again, you're getting this whether you like it or not. We've got, we're heading down to some YouTubers now. We get to see this in action. Oh, it looks really small with his hand there, doesn't it? <laughs> The board looks very small next to his hand. Um, yeah, so obviously you're going to have to look at these reviews to see it, but it does look kind of small. Prototype on all these tiles on this video. <laughs> if you look here on this box, it does have an insert. You see that? no mention of an insert at all so far a ton of videos this could be expected they're all coming out on day one it has been delayed so it gives lots of youtubers time to push together the the videos right minimum pledge <laughs> three boxes terrain pack it looks here look they're not using any of the tile R but I bet you you will be I don't know um, I don't know about it I don't even think I would go for it again it's just too expensive and there's the uh, the tiles look great as it is and Mansions of Madness without walls no problemo so there is that I do like the box art though of <laughs> the terrain pack All right, so this is the hips plastic here, you can see. Um, can you change them about? And they're still on spruces though. Are they still on spruces? They should be up in the FAQ. And why can't you change the guns? It would be nice if the you killed a Nazi soldier, you could unhit plastic the gun off him and put it on your character but hey um, yep if you've not got the early bird it's gonna cost you 10 bucks to get hands gross um, unfortunate and here are the stretch goals then Caroline Becker did we not see her in the all-stars already let's just go up here oh my goodness oh Caroline Becker is here in the All Stars. So, is the All Stars going to be the unlocks? Anyway, apparently, up there she's already unlocked. <laughs> Linen paper upgrade. Paper? An interesting one. It's a card upgrade, isn't it? This is the model in the hero card, and this is her equipment cards and an event card. Carolyn Gambit. 
No, no, they are two different ladies. Okay. Um, some plastic tokens coming for furniture. Very nice. Oh, I like this character. <laughs> she looks fun. Uh, Linen upgrade of all the map tiles. This is nice. And some plastic dashboards. Oh, look at them. What a stretch goal that is. Oh, man. It holds your cards vertically. That is one to go for. Oh, dear me. They have pushed the boat out on these stretch goals. They are phenomenal. I'm loving it. Get some more furniture for the uh, rooms as well. That'd be great. How about a uh, map tile increase of size? That would be nice. Just make things a little bit bigger. Ooh. Is this your first time on Kickstarter? Well, subscribe to KISS 102.4. We bring you the latest, the greatest, and all the cool games on our channel. Oh, yes. Yes, Easter. There you go, the company. Not got a good tr track record. Um, but with hips plastic, you can't go wrong with that. The, it looks like they're using spruces, so, you know, quality is going to be out there. Fantastic. Um, massive, massive testing, hard plastic, yes. Official license, yes. Mm. Here we go, shipping. $70 for shipping. Even from, even to the USA, $41 is a massive bite, isn't it, for the USA? Dear me, that is expensive. <laughs> All right, shipping is expensive. Click to get the name now. This is just going to the award. This is going back up to here. I don't know if this is useful or not. I mean, look, we've got back this project up here again. So anyway. Now, before we go to the rule book, I just want to click here. It's just like picking the pledge button, right? Um, if I go 120, yes, it's not. At least it's not charging the shipping. At least it's not charging the shipping. I down to hell, charge shipping, and it basically stopped people from backing the game. In my opinion, down to hell. We covered that on our channel, and um, yeah, it. It hampered its progress. All right, let's go to the rule book then. Here we go. Oh, we're in for a treat here. Not just the rule book, but a mission book. We're coming here first. And ooh, man. This guy's pointing at me. I'm next. Cod sense here then. This is the rule book. It looks like we're getting all of it. This is very generous, isn't it? <laughs> your time has come, Hitler. We will not allow your reign of terror to continue or give you the opportunity to implement your evil plans. We will do everything in our power to cleanse the world of the Nazi filth. We will attack you where you feel safe, in the infamous castle Wolfenstein. So run and hide, Hitler. We're coming for you. Let's get this party started. Nice. So how does this work then? If you've got your terrain pack, you know, cause the saying put down these tiles. Um, so yeah, it's a big, kind of, a big question. I do like how they've displayed this though. Um, one of the problems with Mansions of Madness is you've got like a massive collection of tiles and it, the scenarios don't tell you what tiles you need to prepare beforehand. And um, here there's, it's not really telling you what tiles you need. Especially if you put in the expansion box tiles all in one box. 
but uh, you've got to try and work out what that is. I mean, on Manchester's Madness, you've got the app, but here you've got to go off this book, and you know, um, it would be better if they had some kind of coding system. If it was a tiny etch number on the bottom left of these tiles, and it said you need a a two d thingy, whatever, you know, code it out. That's what, what I would suggest. Um, yeah, so here they are. They all are different, different setups, looking very nice design. Some of them are very big. Oh, look at number six. A massive, massive setup. And um, yeah, looks stunning, doesn't it? Absolutely looks stunning. And here would be see hell yeah you're going to be facing him in a room and you have notes at the back for whatever reason all right and i guess when you you could potentially download more scenarios you could create your own scenarios excuse me i had a very late night last night playing borderlands 3 what can i say <laughs> it's locked down isn't it and I don't play solo games on lockdown, usually. So there we go. Let's jump to the rule book. Here's the rule book. You know, I do play solo board games if I'm not itching to play a video game and my wife's gone on a business trip. That is the only time. And my favorite game. If you didn't already know, Fallen Land, a great solo game. Here we are, we'll sign the board game, rule book. <laughs> Great art here on the front. Really nice art um, piece from the video game. It really does look nice. That is definitely new art, I've not seen that before. All right, huge contents page here. Now this is rule book, I'd like to see an index at the back, straight off the bat and um, Oh, look at the art down here. That guy looks like his head's been cut off. Eee. That is interesting. Um, I do love this alt history though with the zeppelins going across the sky and um, it is mega, mega cool. Wolfenstein is a co cooperative board game, best played between two and four. However, the game can be played in single player mode. Of course, you just play two characters. Or four. Goal of the game is to eliminate Adolf Hitler. <laughs> Nicely laid out here of all the different card types. Great. Not leaving anything to chance here. Looking stunning. Using art from the game. Fantastic. This is a dream start. Actions. You can move, you can open a door, you can heal, you can reload a weapon, you can attack, use equipment, special attack mode, give equipment, equip uh, some equipment, you can get fatigued, you can search and you can remove a barricade. So fairly a lot of things to do. Be nice if there was a card or this was on your player sheet. Uh, movement here, fatigue. Yeah, it says sometimes you just need to get a bit extra from your heroes, and um, so you can fatigue yourself by potentially, it says here, get out of Dodge City on one more attack to take down the enemy. So that is a nice feature. Glory points, these are to fire off your special abilities and they are rewarded for successfully completing events and loot received for killing enemies nice a chong warning it is not possible to re-roll a re-rolled die um yep yeah, very nice what can what we that's what we expect And um, yeah, talking about terrain here. That's just talking about setting it up. Hmm. 
obviously juicy and there's a lot here to get your head into. Um, you get stunned as well. I really need to get a cup of coffee, don't I? <laughs> Is that a y'all feel in this, in your mornings? Is that how y'all feel in, in the lockdown guys and gals? Bots. <laughs> Man, there's a lot, lot here. Um, definitely if you're back and come in here and give it a detailed look and put your suggestions in the comments. Um, trekking around the world, which Kickstarter has just finished, actually rewarded its backers with a discount if they um, gave comments in the rule book. That was something nice to see. It'd be uh, another good thing for all Kickstarters to do is to do that. Look for our rule book, find any errors, find any problems, you let us know and if we think it's useful or the first one that's told us, we'll give you a discount. That's fantastic. I love, love the fact that Trekking Around the World did that and um, yeah. To-do list, beat some Nazis, kill Hitler, Put in an index and make some profit. The index at the back, please. Bethesda is the video game devs and Zenimax Media is the publisher. And id Software, somewhere in that mix. <laughs> somewhere. Anyhow. Looking fantastic. Love it, love it, love it. Let's jump back to the Kickstarter to round this great Kickstarter up. Oh, Wolfenstein, you didn't need to be a baby. You can stand up with the Giants. You are one yourself. You're a triple A board game. You're in the Premier League. You've almost a thousand backers in your first couple of hours. Goodness gracious. People were waiting for you. Oh. <gasps> Yes, this is a dream come true for a Wolfenstein fan or anyone who wants a dungeon crawl with a different theme. Beautiful tiles, hips, plastic, miniature doors, oh! Stretch goals full of excitement. Oh, this campaign is rocking. How could you not want to be part of it? 14 days as well, so it is a short one in my eyes. Boo hoo, the one dollar fee, because can you not? I mean, if you're coming in on the minimum pledge, it means you're just balancing the books. Why are you not giving me the early bird? Why are you not giving me the stretch goals? Why are you not allowing me just to buy Wolfenstein, the board game? So that in the pledge manager, I can upgrade to the expansions because I'm, I'm guess they're doing this so that they can get the economy of scale so that they can bring this at this price for you. So I'm guessing they're doing it for the consumer. I'm, 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 I see it like that, but I, you know, just... It's this $1 pledge. Make it $5, make it $10, but give us the early bird. Let us get the stretch goals if we upgrade during the pledge manager. That please. You, you're more than a year away, but what a wait you've got. Because when this drops, you know you're diving right in on the table. That first day when you get it, you're going to be playing it. Oh, yes. 99 backers. Let's wait for the thousand. Give it 10 seconds. We need one second. It needed one second. Look at that. This Kickstarter's on fire. Oh, yes. Wolfenstein, the board game. I did not need to be scared. There you go. Well, this is Kickstarter Radio 102.4. I'm your host, Lipstick Panny. Well, you take care. Stay safe. Bye bye for now. Chi-ching, chi-ching.